Hello everyone. My name is Richard Buchanan and I'm the Director of Theatre Arts at Mount St. Joseph University. Welcome to the Department of Music Christmas Extravaganza. This evening we will have three of our performing groups on campus, including MSJ Bands, MSJ Choirs, and MSJ Theatre Arts. As you watch, feel free to comment on the live chat to congratulate our performers, say hello to your fellow viewers, and share some holiday cheer. To begin, let me introduce MSJ Bands.
Please give a hand to Director of Bands and Department Chair Mark McCafferty and the students of MSJ Bands. <laughs> Hearing those steel drums had me imagining being on a warm island beach somewhere with a palm tree decorated for Christmas and a little pineapple drink with an umbrella in it. <sighs> Next up, we have works presented by MSJ Choirs.
Let's give a big hand to our director of choral activities, Joseph Rivers, and the students of MSJ Choirs. I actually got my start in theater through choir. Caroling with the whole community was one of my favorite parts of the season. There is something really magical about hearing all the voices blend together. Our final work this evening is presented by MSJ Theater Arts. Ah, uh, Cratchit, all the ledgers are finished, are they? Yes, sir, Mr. Scrooge. Good. I don't pay you to dawdle. I'm mindful of that, Mr. Scrooge. I was doing my best. <clears throat> sir, it's a bit cold. Could we add some coal to the fire? Eh? It's just that it's a bit cold, sir. Then don't just stand there. Get to work. It's very raw, sir. Bitter it is. If we could just use a bit more coal. I am not interested in the temperature. Now get back to work. Ah, Mr. Scrooge, thank you for seeing us. Bah. A few of us are endeavoring to raise a fund to buy the poor some meat and drink and means of warmth. What shall we put you down for? Nothing. Do you wish to be anonymous? I wish to be left alone, gentlemen. That is my answer. I don't make merry myself at Christmas, and I can't afford to make idle people merry. Now, good day. Merry Christmas, Uncle. Bah, humbug. Christmas a humbug, Uncle. You don't mean that, I'm sure. Just spend the day together, as a family. I do mean it. Out upon Merry Christmas. If I had my will, every idiot who goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips should be boiled it with his own pudding. Uncle! Nephew, keep Christmas in your own way, and let me keep it in mine. Keep it. But you don't keep it. Let me leave it alone, then. Merry Christmas. Bah. And a happy new year. Humbug. You'll want all day tomorrow, I suppose. If quite convenient, sir. A poor excuse for picking a man's pocket every 25th of December. And where are you going? It's dinner time, sir. Well, get going and don't be late. Good night and Merry Christmas. Bah! Scrooge. Who are you? Ask me who I was. Who were you then? Bah humbug. Scrooge, in life I was your partner, Jacob Marley. You don't believe in me. I don't. Why do you doubt your senses? Because a little thing affects them. You may be an undigested bit of beef, a blot of mustard. A crumb of cheese, a fragment of underdone potato. There's more of gravy than of grave about you, whatever you are. I am here tonight to warn you that you have yet a chance and hope Ooh. of escaping my fate. You will be haunted by a spirit. They will offer you the chance to free yourself of these chains. Mercy, dreadful apparition. Why do you trouble me? Why do spirits walk the earth? And why do they come to me? Are you the spirit, sir? Who's coming to was foretold to me? I am. Who and what are you? I am the ghost of Christmas. I will first show you the Christmas that was. Take heed, Ebenezer Scrooge. Yes, yes, yes. I am not in the practice of conversing with spirits. It unnerves me. Come, watch with me. Fan. Ebenezer? Fan! Dear, dear brother. Is it really you, Fan? I have come to bring you home, Ebenezer. To bring you home. Home? Yes, home for good and all. Home. Home. She died a young woman and had, as I remember, children. One child. True. Your nephew, Fred. Yes. Your only living relative. Yes. Do you remember a promise you made your sister to uphold the lad? Stop! Is this your greatest pleasure, to torment me? I take no pleasure in these shadows. They are what they are, nothing more. 
Why, it's my old boss, Fezziwig. Bless his heart, it's Fezziwig, alive again. Yo-ho there, Ebenezer. Yo-ho, my boys. Good more work tonight. Christmas, Ebenezer. Let's close up shop before a man can say Jack Robinson. Small matter to make these silly folks so full of gratitude. He has spent but a few pounds of money. Is that so much that he deserves this praise? It isn't the money spirit. He has the power to render us happy or unhappy, to make our work a pleasure or a toil. His power lies in words and looks, in things impossible to add and count. The happiness he gives us, as great as if it cost a fortune. You see the error of your ways. Spirit, remove me from this place. Haunt me no longer. You must remember, Ebenezer Scrooge, those things you have given up. Bell. Our contract is an old one. You were another man. I was a boy. I release you from that contract. I release you with a full heart for the love of him you once were. May you be happy in the life you've chosen. Bell, I... You fool! Don't just stand there! Stop her! Stop her! Spirit, show me no more. Remove me from this place. Not yet. Come. Come look upon me. You have never seen the likes of me before. It's time to visit the Cratchits. No more of this spirit! <laughs> it's time for the toast. To Mr. Scrooge, I give you Mr. Scrooge, the founder of the feast. The founder of the feast, indeed. I wish I had him here. I'd give him a piece of my mind to feast upon. <laughs> my dear, the children... Christmas Day. It should be Christmas Day, I am sure, on which one drinks the health of such an odious, stingy, hard, unfeeling man as Mr. Scrooge. My dear, Christmas Day. I'll drink his health for your sake and the days, not for his. Long life to him. A Merry Christmas to us all, my dears. God bless us. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. God, God bless, bless us. us. God bless us. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Spirit, tell me if Tiny Tim will live. I see a vacant seat in the corner, and a crutch without an owner. If these shadows remain unaltered by the future, the child will die. Ghost no. of Christmas, no, hear me. Oh, no. I fear these Kind shadows. spirit, say he'll be Why spared. do you not speak to me? Look. Spirit, I beseech you. I am not the man I was. I will change. Look. This is the end of it, you see. No more cleaning your sorry laundry. I'll take that watch. Every person has a right to take care of themselves and your rings. You frightened everyone away from you when you were alive, but now you're dead. That's my grief, spirit. This is a fearful place. Hear me, I beg you. I will not be the man I must have been. I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. Oh, tell me I may sponge away the writing on the stone. No, no, no. Spirit, come back. I will change. Please, please. Please. The spirit of Christmas strives within me. Oh, Jacob Marley, heaven of the Christmas time, be praised for this. I am here. The shadows of the things that would have been may be dispelled. They will be. I know they will. I don't know what to do. I'm as light as a feather. I am as happy as an angel. I am as merry as a schoolboy. I am as giddy as a drunken man. A Merry Christmas to everybody. A Happy New Year to all the world. Hello there. Whoops. Hello, boys. Hi. Oi. Hello there, mister. I have a job for you. Go and buy the prize turkey from the poulterers and tell him to take it to Bob Cratchit. Here's a shilling for your trouble. No. Here's half a crown for each of you. He's crazy. Oi, thanks, mister. <laughs> Bob won't know who sent it. It's twice the size of Tiny Tim. I'd better go pay them a visit. My dear sirs, how do you do? I hope you succeeded yesterday. Mr. Scrooge? Yes, that is my name. Allow me to ask your pardon. Lord bless me, my dear Mr. Scrooge. Are you serious? If you please, not a farthing less. A great many back payments are included in it. I assure you, will you do me that favor? My dear sir, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, please. Come and see me. Will you come and see me? We will. Thank you. I am much obliged to you. I thank you 50 times. Bless you.
Mary, go check the door. Hello, Cratchit. What do you mean by being here at home this time of day? Where have you been? Sir, but it's... I'm sorry, sir, but I'm behind my time. You are? Yes, I think you are. Step this way, if you please. Now I tell you, what my friend, I have to give you a piece of my mind. I am not going to stand this sort of thing any longer. Oh, good, you got the turkey. Excuse me? I, I sent you that turkey. I, you a merrier Christmas, Bob, not my good that. fellow, than I've given you for many a year. Fred, I've just told him the good news. Matters. Why do that? Christmas, Bob. I'd like you to partner with my nephew to run the Thank business. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Scrooge. Of course. Scrooge. You'll need a raise in salary. God bless us. Everyone. Please join me in giving a warm round of applause for the students of MSJ Theatre Arts. <laughs> Though we can't all give out turkeys and promotions like Scrooge, we can understand the importance of kindness and generosity in our lives. From all of us here at Mount St. Joseph University, we want to thank you for joining us for tonight's Christmas extravaganza. We hope you've enjoyed this bit of holiday cheer and we look forward to seeing you at our next performance. Happy Holidays! <laughs>